Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create digital products that will actually sell. So digital products are like the holy grail in online marketing and online business. And the reason is you can create them once and sell it infinitely without too much of your time, without cost of goods, like with e-commerce products and without a big team, you can run a one person million dollar digital product business. Your profits when selling digital products is close to hundred percent. And the time that you spend selling and delivering it after it's launched is very minimal. The difficult part about this isn't the creation of the product, it's creating an offer and a product that will actually go out and sell. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a strategy that I use that helps me create digital products that are almost guaranteed to sell. I've used this strategy on four different products now in the last year and a half or so, and I plan to continue using this whenever I have a new idea for a product or a new offer, and whenever I wanna to continue to sell my existing offers. So watch this entire video, you're gonna see what the strategy is and how to apply it to your own digital product business. Now, before we jump into my computer and show you this strategy, make sure that if you are enjoying the content, hit the like and subscribe button. And with that said, let's go into my computer and I'm gonna show you the strategy now on how I can create digital products that are almost guaranteed to sell every time. All right, so we're on my computer now, but before I jump into the strategy, I wanna share two things that you need in order to make this work. Number one is substance and substance is any value that you provide in, in the terms of expertise or results or something that you do or know that other people want to learn how to do. It's going to be very difficult for you to sell a digital product if you have no substance, right? So I see a lot of people who jump online, they want to go straight into making digital products, but they don't have any experience. They don't have any results. They don't have any skill set yet. So they don't have successful digital products. So this is why on my channel, I always talk about first developing a money-making skill and offering that as a service to other businesses, because that's one of the best ways to build up this substance and expertise and results and your skill set. Now, the second thing you need is an audience and it doesn't have to be a huge audience. It just has to be a group of people who want to hear from you and learn something from you. Now, the bigger and more engaged your audience is, the easier this part is going to be, but a small audience will still work. I've run this strategy on audiences as small as three to 400 people. So whether you're doing this for your own digital products or maybe you're helping a client sell their digital products, an audience is gonna help even if it's a small audience. And this is why every day I'm creating content on multiple different channels like my Facebook group, my email list, and my Twitter profile, uh, and also my YouTube videos. So an audience, that's the second thing that you need. Number one, again, is substance, right? Expertise or results or something that you know how to do or knowledge that you have that other people wanna learn from and an audience, even if it's a small one, we need something to start with here to use this strategy. Now, once you have those two things, what are we doing here? We're going to validate our product or offer idea before we create it. And it's very simple how we do this. We go to our audience and we just ask them. And what this is gonna do is save us months, if not years on creating products and creating offers that nobody wants to buy. And I went through this process a few different times. Back in 2019, I tried to create a course. It was an eight week course. And I spent four months creating this course. And when I launched it, I only got five people on board, five students to sign up for the course, which was a huge waste of time. And I wasted all that time because I didn't go through the strategy first. I went and just tried to create a product before validating it and before asking my audience if this is something that they would actually want. Now compare that to this year, I've signed up 154 students into my email side hustle program, which is a four figure investment. And I launched it in April of this year using just two emails and two social posts. So before I even created any product, I validated the idea with my audience. I got a lot of interest, over 200 people responded. And so I knew right off the bat that this was gonna be a product that was gonna sell. The first 30 students in my email side hustle program, they signed up before I created anything, before creating any videos or any product or any content. So all I had was a quick phone call, it was a 15 minute phone call with these people. I sent them a Google doc with details on what was gonna be included, but I didn't create any videos or content yet around the course itself. So that's the strategy I'm gonna show you, is this validation strategy that I use when I'm testing new ideas for offers, and also when I'm re-enrolling people into existing offers. So I'm gonna hop over to my screen here. I'm gonna show you a couple different example posts where I've used this strategy, these validation posts, to get hand raisers, which are people who are saying, yes, I'm interested in doing this or joining something like this. So this is one that I posted on November 23rd. I post this every five weeks or so, and this is whenever I'm reopening my email side hustle program. So let's go through this post. It says, I'm putting a few folks together and showing them how to make an extra 1K to 5K per month, writing simple fifth grade emails for clients. Now, notice how specific this is. That's really important because if you're not specific, if I were to just say something like, I'm showing some people how to make money online, that's super generic, super broad. A lot of people say that. I'm, I'm sharing exactly how they're gonna make money online, how much they can make, and the method that they're gonna be using, right? 
how to make an extra 1K to 5K plus per month by writing simple fifth grade emails for clients. So with that specificity, you can pretty much imagine what is going on, right? And they can pretty much look at that and say, oh, I can do this. This is something that sounds pretty easy for me. That's what we want, that specificity. The second sentence is handling any objections, right? What are things that they're doing now or experiencing now that they don't like? So you can see, I say, I say here, we don't use any complicated tech, expensive advertising or gimmicky techniques to get clients. People are tired of running these businesses where they need to spend a ton of money on ads, where they have to set up all these 10 step, 20 step funnels and where they have to use these slimy techniques like spammy messaging and all that. So I address that here and I say, all we're using is just these simple fifth grade emails. Now I'm painting a picture of what life is going to look like. I'm future pacing here. Obviously they can use the skill to write emails for their own list if they have one, but I'm going to show them how to get paid doing it for other businesses. These can eventually be four to five figure monthly paydays. Okay. So um, I'm painting a picture of what life can be like once they go through this and once they know how to write emails for clients. And then real simple, the call to action is, would you like to join us? It's just a question. And you can see here below, we have 50 people who commented and I see at least uh, six people in here who signed up for this program. And again, it's a multi four figure investment, but you can see here, 50 people responded saying, I'm in count me in hell. Yes. And this is how I enroll people into ESH every four to five weeks, right? So I make this post every four to five weeks and I get new people in every time I do using this exact same strategy here. So this is an, an ongoing program and I can see one, two, three, four, um, there's five people that I can see here that are actually in the program that signed up through this post. So this is a, a, a five figure post right here, right? This, this validation or this hand raiser post. So this is an example of using it for an existing offer. So this one here is for a product that I haven't created yet. And this is a good example of the validation style post. So it says, can I get your thoughts on something? I've noticed a lot of folks join this group wanting to write emails to sell their own products. And that's true. So if I go to membership questions, one of my questions is this group is for entrepreneurs who want to start or grow their business with email. What option best describes you? I would say about 40% of people answer. They want to write emails to sell their own products. So I took, I was listening to my audience. I was looking at their, their questions and, and what they wanted to learn. And a lot of it was around creating emails or writing emails to sell their own products. So I addressed it here, right? That gave me the idea for this new product to create. So I've noticed a lot of folks joining this group wanting to write emails to sell their own products. So I'm thinking about putting seven of my cash windfall email campaigns for info and digital products into a course. You can run these campaigns for your own offers and or clients whenever you need a quick cash injection. And each of these campaigns have been worth over six figures between my biz and clients. The attached image is from two of these campaigns. Would you be interested in this comment windfall below if you are, and I'll put it together if there's enough interest. So this is yesterday and you can see here 56 comments, right? People, commenting windfall, windfall, windfall. They want to learn more. They want, they're interested in this offer. So as you can see here, and I sent this out on my uh, email list as well, got a bunch of re replies there. So now I know that there is an interest in this product and this offer. So this is my strategy for how I create digital products that are almost guaranteed to sell. It's not in the creation part. It's in the validation step, right? So you can see here, I haven't created anything yet. I'm just getting people to tell me if they'd be interested. So if I go and create this, I have a list of people who are already potential buyers, right? I can reach out to these people with a special link, like a discount or a special bonus or a limited spots. Like if I'm doing a coaching program around this, I can send them a, a link to one of those limited spots. So this one here, again, example of one that I use to re-enroll people in an existing program that opens up every four to five weeks. And this one here is around a product that I haven't created yet. And I'm just trying to see if there's enough interest, right? So this is exactly what I did for my email side hustle program as well. I validated it first. I got over 250 or so responses. So I knew that I was going to have at least, you know, 20 to 30 people in that first round of the email side hustle program. So again, the breakdown is we're asking people, Hey, I'm, I'm thinking of doing this, right? I'm, I'm thinking of putting this together or putting this group together around the specific result, the specific outcome. This is what we do together. We're going to put these campaigns together or we're going to write these emails, these simple fifth grade emails. And we paint a picture of what life can be like on the other side once they get this product and once they go through it. So 
These campaigns have been worth over six figures between my business and clients. These can eventually be four to five figure monthly paydays, right? So we're painting a, a picture of their future life. And then a CTA, just asking them, would you like to join us? Would you be interested in something like this? Okay. Now, if you have an audience, uh, even if it's a small audience and you have these ideas for digital products or coaching programs or basically any type of offers, even like e-commerce product, a physical product, you can use this format, this style post to get people to raise their hand and let you know that they're interested. Now, is this a guarantee that they're gonna buy when the time comes? No, but this is a great way to eliminate the guess game, the guessing game of whether or not people are gonna be interested in this at all. And if I had done this with that first course that I created back in 2019, I would have saved months and months and months of work on creating something that no one wanted to buy. So take these two examples, whether you are re-enrolling people into an existing course or a coaching program, whatever it is, or if you're testing the, an idea for a new product or a new service that you're creating, you can use these two posts here and you're gonna have an offer that is almost guaranteed to sell when you're ready to launch it. So that's my strategy on how I create digital products that are almost guaranteed to sell using that validation process there. Like I said earlier, I've used this on four different products now. Two have done over six figures each and the other two I'm launching in early 2022. So if you got value out of this, make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you're planning on creating your own digital product and what it's gonna be around. And one more thing, if you want to learn more about selling digital products using email, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group and I share a lot more content around that. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.